Hello, and welcome to Tailslandium Gardens Trivia. My name is Tailsland Martinson, and I will be hosting the show on YouTube. I will have Gabrielle introducing the contestants, Gabby. For this trivia session, we have Asriel Dremer from the video game Undertale, Martina Sullivan of the soon-to-begin series Darren Pipster and Friends, and Isabella Gonzalez from the Dish Girls. This session's category is Railroads. Here are the rules of the game. If you answer a question right, you get an amount of points. If you answer a question wrong, you lose an amount of points. You have 10 seconds to get the question right. Let's get started. Tailsland, take it away. All right. So, here's question one. Where was the locomotive invented? You have 10 seconds to answer the question right. Failure to do so will result in you getting a loss of points. Yes, Isabella. England. Correct. Mining engineer Richard Trevithick invented the first steam power locomotive engine on rails in England in 1802. For this, you earned 10 points. Here's question 2. How did E.I.H. Janney contribute to the railroad? Yes, Asriel. He patented a coupler. Correct. While working as a shop clerk, Eli Janney invented a coupler that would become the standard for U.S. railroad cars. Janney was an accomplished whittler and carved his first model out of wood. For this, you deserve five points. Here's question three. What was the most trap laid in one day during the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad? Yes, Martina. I know you answered before we started the countdown. 10 miles. Correct. In a race against time, Charles Crocker's crews set a record for the most trap laid in one day, working from sunrise to sunset on April 28, 1869. At the end of the 10-mile stretch, the rails were within three and a half miles of Promontory Summit. For that, you earned 10 points, time with Isabella. Here's question 4. Who inspired others to invest in a transcontinental railroad? Esriel. Grenville Dodge. Nope. Not Grenville Dodge. For this, you lose 15 points. Martina, you want to give it a go? Theodore Judah. Correct. Nicknamed Crazy Judah for his passion for a transcontinental railroad, Theodore Judah not only surveyed the western route for the railroad, but encouraged investors and lobbied Congress. Sadly, Judah did not live to see his dream come true. He died from an illness incurred on the long ship voyage necessary to travel from the west coast to the east. For this, you earned five points. Here's question five. The Central Pacific Railroad began in which city? Esriel, your chance to get your 15 points back. Sacramento, California. Correct. Without fanfare, workers laid the first rails of the Central Pacific Railroad on October 26, 1863, in Sacramento. For this you earn your 15 points back plus an extra 5 points for adding the state to your answer. Here's question 6. Hell on Wheels was the name of what? Isabella. Lawless towns that grew up along the railway. Correct. Hell on Wheels was the traveling assembly of business establishments along the Union Pacific during construction of the Transcontinental Railroad. The towns were famous for their rapid growth and infamous for their lawlessness. Businesses typically included purveyors of equipment and supplies, as well as gambling houses, saloons, dance halls, and brothels. For this, you deserve 10 points. Here's question 7. In 1860s the Transcontinental Railroad was called what? Esriel. The Pacific Railway. Correct. When a Transcontinental Railroad was first proposed, it was seen as an overland route to the Pacific. The term was used in the Pacific Railway Act signed by Abraham Lincoln in 1862. For this, you deserve 10 points. Here's question 8. 
A transcontinental railroad first became a priority because of what reason? Martina. Gold was discovered in California. Correct. In January 1848, John Sutter discovered gold in the creek by his sawmill. In December of the same year, President James Polk announced a discovery in his final State of the Union address setting off the gold rush of 49. For this, you deserve a whopping 20 points. Here's question 9. The big four what? Isabella. The men who invested in the Central Pacific Railroad. Correct. Leland Stanford, Collis P. Huntington, Mark Hopkins, and Charles Crocker were brought together by Theodore Jeter when he was seeking investors for the railroad. As the largest investors in the Central Pacific Railroad, these four men came to be called the Big Four. And I don't mean the Treaty of Versailles for World War I. For this, you deserve five points. And here's a final question as points are doubled for the question. The news of the driving of the last spike was first in what source? For A, 10 points, for B, 20 points, for C, 30 points, and for D, 40 points. The time limit remains the same. Martina. Read about in the newspaper. Nope. It's not read about in the newspaper. For this, you lose 30 points. Esriel, would you like to give this one a go? Transmitted by telegraph? Correct. Stanford swung a silver mall to strike the final, ceremonial gold spike that was connected to telegraph wires. Simultaneously an eager telegrapher relayed the message, done. For this, you deserve 40 points. All right, now that the test your railroad knowledge results have been revealed, let's reveal the results. We have Israel with 60 points, Martina with 5 points, and Isabella with 25 points. And the winner of this trivia is Israel Greenberg. Yes, I can't wait to tell Sands about it. Anyways, Israel, you win $100,000. Isabella, you win $50,000. And Martina, you win $25,000. Anyways, we'll be back next time with another session and a different category from a Test Your Knowledge website. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye.